Brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Today is Monday, November the 21st, and I'm going to share with you some of the visions that were given to me on Saturday the 19th of November. Now, on that day, I received 20 other visions, uh, and then I managed to share, I think it's uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, okay, more than half. So please remember that the Lord has given us two greatest commandments, that is to love the Lord our God with our heart, or our mind, or our soul, and all our strength, and to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. So each day we move along the path of righteousness into holiness. Now, <clears throat> today, actually, in fact, here is just part, uh, early in the morning, 4.05 a.m. Uh, yesterday until today, I feel very, very tired. As you know, I got this asthmatic cough, and uh, it's, uh, I got the ventolin and bigota, yep. They help, but they cannot, definitely cannot heal because the Lord already told me this is what I need to go through, but I still hope for healing, right? But somehow, uh, as we look at the Bible, you know, just like Jeremiah and the apostles, all this, before they, they were killed or slaughtered or, you know, died, they went through very hard time as well. So, and not surprised that some of us, maybe not only me, have to go through this hard time. And also it is to prove to to, to everyone that listen to this uh, messages, okay, daily message we know, to know that the law already six years ago, five, six years ago to say that by the end, before rupture, you know, I will have to go through very hard time. And this is happening now. And I cannot imagine if it is worse than now, you know, it's already very bad. So I know that the hours is here and uh, the Lord showed us all the vision pointing to November 28, 29. Kishlek, 4th and 5th and Chinese Luna, 11th month, 5th and 6th. Today still say the same thing for, I think, since when? I think a few months already, right? So there's no change at all, and it's getting closer. And even seeing the small uh, ball so small, and then uh, even big symbol so small, you know. This uh, vessel is talking about the hours, the time that we still have here on earth here. So please get ready and remember the Lord has uh, asked us to prepare three gifts. There's faith, hope, and love. Now, please go to Hebrew chapter 3 and 4, and I have given you the link. I think two days ago, uh, you can listen to the video, all right? But if you can go to the Bible, there's so much better because you can... Oh, yeah, in the video, you can go to transcript. You can go to more and then go into transcript that got written down there. So you can refer to what you are listening to uh, the reader, okay, a brother or a sister reading the Bible. And uh, if you can understand Mandarin, well, you can go to the Mandarin. I have already put the link here on the journal page, okay. So today is to listen to chapter Hebrew chapter 3 and 4. It's talking about into rest. This is really applicable to us at this moment, you know, preparing to enter rest. Now, that's why the Lord, uh, in the year 2009, I didn't know, of course, you know, at that time that I was appointed as an intercessor. And then the Lord asked me to read Hebrew, uh, Hebrew, the book of Hebrew as the new beginning, all right? Then from Hebrew, I, uh, the Lord get, showed me a lot of mystery. And as we know that the Hebrew, even chapter 3 and 4 today, as we are going, we are supposed to read, and it's telling us about into rest. And it's what we've been doing all these years, right? Now, next one. Uh, what do we have here? Let's, uh, and then there's a song. Please go to the song. It's You Raise Me Up. You Raise Me Up, okay? In the English one, George Groban. Okay, I think he's a Canadian. George Groban sing the song, uh, You Raise Me Up. Let me, Lord Jesus, you raise me up. You raise us up. 
for who we are today. We are so grateful to you, Lord. So go to it. It's from Hallelujah Media, and they got English and Chinese. And、uh, the pastors or the evangelist sharing about the word. Okay, about、uh, they got scripture inside. Uh, is is the word okay? Is from、uh, more or less like interpretation for the Bible, and it's really really good. All right, so go to the videos that we shall be blessed in Jesus name. I mean, and this another one is suddenly my phone just have the song. In fact, I was listening to something else, but when I came back because I saw vision and then came back, and there's a, this song on the video. Okay, supposed to be the other one, but it came to this one. I did not change it. My phone is still normal. All right, so that is、uh, the song is Xin Lang 的呼唤 That means bridegroom's calling. Bridegroom's calling. Yesterday I got this one, just came to my phone, and then yesterday I saw also saw the face of Lord Jesus Christ. I saw his face, but he 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 really more or less like、uh, he really care about me, you know, because I'm so sick. And、uh, but he knows that I just need to go through, all right. But of course, in my heart, I still ask the Lord, please heal me, right? But if it is that God's will, you know, like Lord Jesus say, Father,、uh, it is hard, right? I don't feel like going through it, but somehow, if it is Your will, let it be so, right? Now, so go to that song and be blessed. Next one,、uh, go to the journal page on the. Left hand side, okay. They got sixteen audible voice and vision. I'm going to share now. Now let's look at number one. Is 不想了 and then 这 you look at the time. It's the next minute only. 不想了这什么不想了这呢 If you combine them together, is 不想这个世界了不想这世界了 Okay, not thinking of this world anymore. Not thinking of this world anymore. All right. And then next one,、uh, there's a silvery hand, silvery hand, just strike on the table. And then the next thing is a green color, bright seven, green color, green color, bright green color seven coming up. Now seven is a God divine number, and also is divine completion. Now when the Lord put a, a silvery hand, means salvation. All right. So in other word, this redemption is fixed. It's done, okay. When you put your, you you strike your hand on the table, that means it's done. It's done, okay. Decided already. It's done. So it's talking about this rupture on the twenty eight, twenty nine. It's done, all right. And then seven divine completion. It's talking about twenty eight, twenty nine November. It's seven also God's number, so into God's kingdom. Now next one is, the green color or stand for go and also stand for new beginning. Now next one is I saw five trees like evergreen tree, but it's brown color. Now this brown color remind us of the wilderness, okay? So and then you look at the time is twelve forty. Twelve forty means complete forty years. So that is talking about Moses brought the Israelite from Egypt into uh into the wilderness supposed to reach. Uh, Israel, the promised land, okay, in、uh, maybe four years, four months, but somehow they were in the wilderness for forty years because there were so many rebellions, okay. Uh, people with no faith, Israelite with no faith, and they against God. But somehow, <clears throat> so it's talking about the Moses to the Israelite in the wilderness for forty years to completion, as you know. Joshua is the one who brought the Israelite into the Promised Land. Now, so in other words, this forty years is over. Okay, forty years is over, and then five. When you talk about five, still remember for new heaven, new earth until, uh, uh, you know there are plus minus. Okay, until this year, end of this year is five years. But somehow five stand for grace. In other word, in the wilderness for forty years, now into grace. This world is the wilderness, okay, and we are going into the land of rest, okay. That is our promised land, promised land from God. 
land of milk, um, land of milk and honey. Now next one is so the word tu chong. Tu means suddenly. Chong means dash out. That means suddenly dash out or was will disappear. Okay, from the face of the earth, we are not disappearing. We are entering from this physical realm, natural realm, into spiritual and end up the other side in the physical again, but with the incorruptible body. Now, next one is uh, I saw a list. I think it's about three lists. I think three or four, three. And uh, the second one is the er, the. Uh, this word the means wrap in white linen. Okay, if you look at the word, they got white, they got wrap, and then, <clears throat> and then from five up to eleven, like this, the dot. So it's wrap in fine linen, ruptured, wrap in fine linen into ruptured. A two means going home. If you combine the two, it becomes twenty eight. Twenty eight is the 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 uh, west going home. Next one is I saw a lady. This lady represent the church, and this lady with the big eyes looking at the northeast direction. Northeast means rupture. Okay, so shock, so surprise and shock, because she is left behind. The whole church, the body of Christ. Okay, the church, one billion plus, ninety nine percent maybe ninety percent will be left behind. Only a small number of the random church will be taken up, together with the children and the baby children. I don't know. I hope the Lord will include all the primary school. I hope so. I don't know up to which age. Okay, I did not say. All right, maybe I have some clue, but I did not say. All right, but the little children and the babies will be going home, no matter what religion your parents are in. Okay, whatever religion, whatever background, it doesn't matter. All mankind come from God, and as little children, they belongs to God. They belongs to the kingdom of God. God, they are going back to the kingdom of God. Whatever races, whatever nation, whatever religions the family are having, they have no connection to that. They all belongs to the to God, and they are going home. Next one. I saw the Lord drew a curve, a curve from the middle to the three o'clock position, and this remind me of a clock. The top of the clock is eleven, twelve, one. <coughs> eleven, twelve, one. <coughs> they mean November to complete into new beginning, into golden age because it is a golden pen. The Lord wrote with a golden color coming up. He used his hand to draw, but it's in golden color. So November to finish into new beginning, golden age. Now next one is I heard the audible voice say very clear. Now they are hear the audible voice. It's really really clear. You know, so clear. When I heard from the, I still remember yesterday I heard the man's voice. Talking a few times is so so clear, you know, and I could just really, really concentrate on his voice. You can see that it's so close already. Now saying us, us, and they say 生活 So us here is God speaking. Say us, they mean God and man. 生活 means living together. So God and man lived together. Next one is, I saw a stool first, and then I saw one leg was on the, on the stool, and another leg from the stool to the floor. In other words, we are now on the right foot, right leg, and foot, right foot still on the floor, and stool will be lifted up as well, going up. All right, so now still on the ground, soon to be lifted up. Next one is I saw a pictures. Now these pictures was very beautiful, but there's no way that I could draw it, and then mainly to do with the blue. Blue means heavily, and then I saw a calculator on the、uh, in the east lower part. Okay, that means、uh, southeast direction, south southeast corner, and there's a, a handphone calculator 
when you look at the calculator is one two three <coughs> four five six seven eight nine and it is a zero so if you look at the date is on 19 of november plus nine days is 28 so is the west going home the next 29th is the east going home so we are on the right track next one is i saw in a ziplock bag <coughs> there were three small uh actual pack one really sealed and packed uh preserve pairs okay half half pay so all together is one and half <coughs> half 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 and then the load finally took out one piece <coughs> from the zilla bag one out of the three so i believe this is talking about <coughs> remaining days so that is one piece referring refer to three days so nine piece nine days and the top one i believe is the last few days all right and will be out next one is i saw a hand white hand from the three o'clock position coming out okay out and then pointing to nine o'clock going to nine so three stand for to stop and then pointing to nine can means israelite kishle and then the hand is one hand coming out with five fingers so if you show people five you take out your whole five whole hand show your whole hand with all the five fingers so that is talking about the east the east going into eternity on the feast of kishle and that's what we know too next one is a small white ball the smallest one in our house <coughs> and then there's a spoon if i'm not wrong it's a teaspoon at the three o'clock position i mean to finish and then the spoon uh in the bowl there's uh, some soya sauce soya sauce is black color dark color and that represents our target and i don't finish into the target we'll go through something like a tunnel but the other side is the new heaven new earth and then next one <coughs> It's a red small bowl, red one, only enough for one spoon. That spoon is a red Chinese spoon. And this red Chinese spoon is from the 6 o'clock position going to 12 and then up. <coughs> so that means uh, that is lunar 11th month, the 6th day, we in the salvation, spoon stand for salvation, okay there's because it's from the six color position so 11 month six day in the lunar and then going into completion and then up into the heavenly so everybody be ready do not be left behind be more hard working go to the as the lord say read the scripture hebrew three and four go and read don't say that lily is to do with you nothing to do with me no if you are interested in God's will, so do God's will, because it is His calling for us to read the scripture. And it is for Him to show us that the bridegroom is calling now. So try, if you can understand Mandric, go into the video. And then next one is raise me up, to appreciate how God raised us up. And it's time to go home. Do not forsake God's calling. When he asks us to read, we read. When he asks us to listen, we listen. This is a testing of our faith and our obedience. And of course, to do with our hope, how much hope we have. Is our heart, uh, our heart still is, are our hearts still on this earth or in the kingdom of God? How much love we have for people. If you listen to the message every day, I'm sure your love is getting deeper, deeper. You know why? Because you come to know the Lord more and more. You come to know His will, come to know His purpose. You come to know who God is. So that's why your love should be deeper and deeper. Forgive others. What is the point? <coughs> to hold on to your unforgiveness and be left behind. 
So all these are not worthy. Everything that belongs to this world, not worthy, not worthy for us to remember or to carry on. We should let go, let go of all the disagreement. And what I mean is unforgiveness. You may disagree with in something is okay, but make sure it's not this becomes dislike or becomes a hatred or unforgiving. No, let go of this world. Forgive. And love and pray for them, and remember God is love. In Jesus' name, Amen.